What is up, friends on YouTube? Mike Crotch coming at you with the Palmetto State Armory Rifle Kit Unboxing. This is a... This is a kit that I ordered on um, over Memorial Day. And um, it said, please allow 15 days for it to ship out, but it's over here at my house already and it's been about a week and a half. So I'm not sure if it's just with different kinds of rifle kits or whatever, but all the reviews I've seen from Palmetto says that they're slow. These guys are quite quick this time. So basically, this is what they were advertising. It's, um, it's a cold hammer forged PSA 16 inch with uh, it's a Mo Defender kit, which was $549.99. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And Palmetto State does not disappoint. Parts kit, stock, buffer tube, Mo stock, Mo grip, a mil spec buffer tube with a Palmetto State Armory buffer. Regular old buffer spring and a double loop latch. Palmetto advertised it as a um, hybrid ultra low profile barrel, but comparing it to my uh, M4 barrel, the government profile. It basically is the same thing, except for right after the gas block, it gets just a little thinner. So it's not a pencil barrel, but it has a standard F2 front sight gas block. And then it kind of just tapers down and then tapers back up right next to the flash hider. 5.56 five, NATO, 1 in 7 twist, magnetical particle expected, and uh, cold hammer forged, chrome lined. It says PSA, but it's uh, the barrel was made by FN. So... M4 barrel extension, 7075 upper. The bull carrier group, let's check that out. It's a Palmetto State nickel boron, which looks amazing. Staked. It is chrome lined. That is such a difference next to my regular mil spec auto bowl carrier group, which actually is right here. I try to clean it up, but it's seen a fair amount of use. Although, 
I'm liking this, this staking better, if you can tell, compared to these. But this nickel boron is nice. The other thing that they said that it comes with is a, it's a Mo Defender lower parts kit with a standard safety. Basically, it's a, it's just their standard lower parts kit, but they upgraded the hammer and the trigger with the enhanced polished trigger kit, which they then coated with uh, an ultra slick nickel finish. So they polished the contact points and then coated the surface with the ultra slick nickel finish. It has a standard mil spec style safety and a double loop latch plate. You have your detents and uh, even though I'm in California they sent me a regular bullet button so just in case I guess I have a regular bullet button you got your safety you got your mag latch take down and the, the pins bottom for the um, for the grip and you have the um, let's see what is it you got your springs let me take the trigger group out really liking that compared to just the regular trigger group right there it's nice and it does feel way slicker actually so hopefully that'll make the trigger a bit nicer than their standard trigger group. And um, yeah, so, so far I'm fairly impressed. It's just a standard, I think it's a, just a regular 60, 61, I'm not sure what it is, but just a regular aluminum charging handle so I'm gonna build this out and uh, see what happens really liking what it looks like the quality is nice the trigger looks awesome so I'll let you guys know what I think about it once I put it all together but just wanted to give you a quick look at what it comes with for a uh, let me actually get my other barrel here. Up top is my carbine, but it has a rifle length um, handguard. It's a free float rail. And um, this one I actually cut down the F2, the, yeah, the sight, the F mark sight, and made it into a little gas block by itself there, and added the Daniel Defense front sight. But as you can tell, it's pretty much the same thickness 
up until it gets to the gas block. Then it kind of thin thins down and it goes right back to the original shape. So this is the only thin part on the barrel, which I don't mind. It actually, if it does cut down on weight, let's see what it what it comes down to as far as pounds. So uh, there it is. If anybody's interested in uh, ordering it or was thinking about what it looks like, it's nice. The website doesn't really do it justice. It kind of gives a misleading information about the gas gas block and everything like that. But I thought it was going to be a really thin barrel, but um, it looks fine. So just got to order a uh, California bullet button, uh, rear sight, and this thing will be good to go. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Um, honestly, for $549.99 with free shipping, I thought it was a really good deal. I've been waiting for a mid-length rifle kit to come up since January, and those guys haven't had a nice kit. I've all I've been uh, I've been looking for the Cold Hammer Forged ones, and uh, literally just two three days ago, a uh, CHF mid-length rifle kit with a regular barrel came up. But I had already or ordered this, and uh, this one comes with the uh, nickel boron bull carrier group and the slick EPT trigger group. So, oh, also the Mo, uh, Mo grip, and the Mo stock, and the Mo handguard. So I thought rather than actually the other one's four ninety nine, so I paid fifty dollars more for all the stuff. So I thought it was a really good deal, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't buy the other one or didn't wait for it, just uh, pull the trigger on this one. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I will be putting this together in the next week or so. I've been kind of busy with work and stuff. And uh, I don't know if I let you guys know, but they did accept me for the ultrasound technology program. There were over 50 applicants and they only picked 16. So I'm feeling really grateful. Um, I was not feeling very well after that last interview that I had. I don't know if you guys could tell. But um, I don't think too many people even watch that video. But if you do watch this video, um, I'm very relieved and very happy and uh, can't wait to start this new new journey, new, uh, new career. I want to, it's a two-year program, going to get it going. I want to be first in my class. That's my goal. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, let me know what you think, and please like, share, subscribe. My channel is still kind of new, so uh, let's try and build it up. All right. Thanks, guys. Mike Crotch out. I'll talk to you guys soon.